This person um, wasn't a close friend. We lived in the same street. We, you know, we'd hang out a little bit. Um, so, you know, we're more, I guess, acquaintances than friends. Um, but, you know, we'd have a cuppa sometimes. Um, she had her second baby um, and I'd only known her maybe for about a year. And um, after, after the second, I noticed, you know, just she became a bit more withdrawn. She was, you know, always in the house. Um, I'd, you know, maybe go over the house was a lot messier and you know that's all normal stuff for babies you know when you're when you're busy but I guess you just notice subtle changes in people that you know that make you think oh they're not really coping um her uh, from what we were talking about her relationship was also really um difficult during that time so there were things that were happening in her life that were you know were, were really challenging on top of just having this new baby and I just I guess I felt that she wasn't coping um, you know, like maybe, you know, she needed that extra support. You don't really know where, when it's someone that's not your close, close friend, whether you actually reach out because some people, you know, like are funny about accepting help. And there was a particular day that she actually was in tears and she actually broke down and, and just basically said that she wasn't coping. So for me, that was the time when I did offer support and just, you know, talk to her about what was going on. And, um, you know, we spoke about stuff about the relationship and whether she needed sort of more formal help you know like I talked to her about you know whether she had a good GP you know getting some extra support in the community and we lived in a you know fairly small community there wasn't a lot of support but there was some good sort of community-based supports that were free so I sort of pointed her in the right direction and I think she was quite relieved like she I think she'd gotten to the point where she was quite withdrawn from family and friends, or it seemed to be. Um, and I think um, she she seemed quite relieved that it was out in the open. I was certainly glad that I'd offered the help. She certainly, um, she actually did need quite a lot of intervention after that. Um, as it turned out, she, um, you know, she needed quite a lot of support. So that was sort of, um, I was glad that I, I was the one you know, to sort of be there at that time. It doesn't happen overnight, but like life got a little bit better for her over time. And yeah, that was a, you know, that was good, you know, for me to know that she actually got the support that she needed.